I spent $400 on these bad boys. Let's see them together. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're first time here, my name is Mehdi. I'm talking about fragrances. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications by my new uploads. So these are the fragrances that I have smelled them before. This is not a first impression for me. After a while, after sampling and smelling them, I decided to add them to my collection for this winter. So let's see them together. So for first we have here Givenchy Gentleman EDP. Let's remember it again. Simple box. I paid to this one $65. Absolutely, the Oromi vibe is available here, that DNA. The thing that I can get here is a bit slightly kind of vetivery or soapy Dior Om. But more complex, a bit more spicy compared to line of Dior Om. So in the brief I can say to this one deeper, denser, a bit more spicy, complex version of Dior Om. Or take on Dior Om. Compared to Dior Om, I prefer this one better. Compared to Valentino Mo Intense, I like Valentino Mo Intense better. But compared to both of those fragrances, this one is more masculine and more complex and a bit more mature, I can say. I can feel some feminine notes in this fragrance as well, like powdery, lipsticky vibes. But I can get also more masculine and complex notes, which is not available in the Dior Om or Valentino Winters. So, Givenchy Gentleman EDP. Next one is Mugler's Pure Malt. I paid uh, 60 bucks to this one. Let's remember opening again. If you have a smelt Pure Heaven or Amen, you're gonna get that similarities immediately by this experience. Compared to other flankers, it is closer to Pure Heaven to my taste. Nothing about Pure Tonka. Performance is around 5 to 6 hours by new formulations. It smells slightly boozy, sweet, spicy and edible kind of gourmand at the dry down. At the opening, pure malt is a bit fresher compared to the dry down. At the opening, you can get some citrusy fruitiness than the fragrance, but at the dry down, is a bit sweeter and boozier compared to the opening. I believe if you have pure heaven, this fragrance is not that much necessary. Or if you have this one, you don't need pure heaven. But between this and pure heaven, I prefer pure heaven better. So at this moment, if I have to choose only one of these two fragrances by a very fast comparison, which one would be my preferred? Without no doubt, Givenchy Gentleman EDP. Because it is more dense, a bit dark compared to this one, more complex and has a big weight to it compared to this one. This is also great semi-dark gourmand type of fragrance, but man, this one such a dressed up masculine sexy type of fragrance so winner for me in this battle is Givenchy Gentleman EDP for next we have here Bulgari Man in Black let's remember scent of the fragrance again before I forget I paid to this one 35 bucks So let's remember scent of the fragrance again. In the brief, Bulgari Man in Black is a boozy tobacco based fragrance. So it is boozy tobacco. It smells like at the opening, like darker version of Vamelin or like Vamelin Privé or a spice bomb. If you have one of these three fragrances, I believe we don't need this one. But in terms of performance, price, 
compact to spice bomb and one million preway i would go buy this one because it is 35 bucks and it is very great value for your money if i have to say one big difference between this fragrance and the other fragrances that i already mentioned one million preway and the spice bomb is some dried minty vibe going on here in this fragrance just at the opening but at the dry end they turn so close to each other so I believe in terms of performance and price, this one is way better compared to one million Preway or a Spice Pump, but I like those fragrances as well. They have their own character. You cannot go wrong by any of these fragrances, but if you want to choose only one between a Spice Pump, we'll got him in black or one million Preway. And if you don't want to spend that much money, by 35 bucks, you can get this bad boy. So again, if I have to make a battle between these three, I still I would go by you want you gentlemen dp man this fragrance is very crazy for next i have a crazy killer fragrance for you guys Papam's Damalis Herat. i paid to this one 240 bucks let's remember it again it's a long time that i wanted to add this fragrance to my collection for whatever reason i didn't Here we go, Herod by Parfums de Molly. I want to have it on the skin. Yeah, that beautiful jammy, sour cherry jammy, cozy, sweet opening plus ash. It is like smoked cigarette. It is like ashtray plus one million by Paco Rabon at the opening. If you want to imagine scent of the fragrance, if you haven't smelled. But at the dry down, it is more ashy compared to the opening. At the dry down, it is more tobacco -y, smoky, less sweet compared to the opening. Performance of this one, based on the sample that I have, is 12 hours plus by first two, three hours. Very big projection of sillage. At the first hour, is like room filler. At the second or third hour, is like smoky, ashy plus some cinnamon sweetness toned down sweetness at the dry down and such a crazy reactions by ladies this is one of those safe daring type of fragrances it is niche has some niche elements some daring notes but in the same time it is enough safe to go with and in terms of compliments this complementing the type of fragrance not 100 percent 10 out of 10 like creed aventus but it is a huge compliment there for fall and winter so let's make a top four by these fragrances at the top of the list closed eyes without no doubt king herod forever for me at two you want she gentleman edp at three spots will got him in black and last one is pure malt by thierry Ripley. so if you don't want to spend that much money and you want to get some good juice for this winter i highly recommend will got him in black too which is very complex and it is way better compared to this price 35 bucks 40 bucks and if you're okay with 65 or 70 bucks you can get such a quality juice by Givenchy gentleman edp which is dense deep and enough sexy and complimenting there i believe and if you are okay by 240 bucks absolutely without no doubt winner is heard by pop from the mod don't forget subscribe the channel that was today's video i hope it was useful if you have any opinion suggestion question let me know in the comments below i will answer you see you another video